Hello everyone. I just want to make a real quick video that kind of shows how water circulates through the piston area and exactly what role the thermostat plays. I made an earlier video that shows how the thermostat works and you can kind of tell it I mean, basically lets water in and out depending on the temperature, but it's kind of hard to visualize what actually happens and see where the water flows. Now, this is just a test motor and as you can see here, here the pistons run. So, um, this plate here is the front plate. The spark plugs screw right in here. And uh, obviously as the pistons run, this is where the ignition or explosion happens. Now, normally when you start up the motor, water flows in here. It may be difficult to see in the video, but around every piston, there's kind of a hollow area. So this entire hollow area and the sides and everywhere, water is filled and flowing. Now this is what happens when you start up the motor. The water is flowing, it's cooling it. But this part right here, the thermostat that's in here, what ends up happening as the water goes through here, it's pretty much stuck and it, and it's, it doesn't go anywhere else. Now, as the thermostat opens up, you can see here, the thermostat will allow water into this area. And if you don't re realize this, this piece right here, it may look like a solid piece of metal, but it's actually hollow inside. It may be difficult to see. I don't know if you can see inside here. But all around here, inside this, it's completely hollow. As you can see, kind of there's a line here and this is welded together. But this piece is actually made of two parts. And inside, the water is allowed to flow. So, I'm just trying to balance this a little bit. Now, this is where your spark plugs are. So as the piston comes up, this is where the explosion happens. Now, Normally, the water around the sides and running around the pistons is able to cool the motor as it's running slow. However, clearly, as the motor speeds up and the ignition speed increases, all the heat is largely generated in this area. So this, is, this needs to be cooled extra. Now, as the thermostat opens up, it allows water to come right into this crack. It flows all around the insides of this, and then it comes out one of these two holes. And then it comes out and it actually exits a different area. So. Instead of exiting out of the little rubber nozzle where your water normally flows out, kind of um, right above your cavitation plate, you may notice a couple of different holes and water flowing out of kind of different areas from your motor. Uh, this is actually where it comes out. So it, it leaves a totally different area once the thermostat is open. And this is just, I just want to help you visualize what exactly goes on because I made another video that shows how the thermostat works and it's simple. It just lets water through but what exactly happens and where does that water go? So it's just, it's pretty simple. As ignition happens here, this particular zone gets significantly hotter. Now the water is already always flowing in here. And also what opening the thermostat does it is it does increase the water flow speed around all parts of the motor. So it's not just cooling this here, it's increasing the flow around the cylinders and especially the most sensitive area of the front where the ignition and the explosion are all the, most of the heat is generated. Now, that's basically it. As you can visualize this, you can now understand what the thermostat does, does and why it's so important. Because your motor might run, run fine at slow speeds, even at idle, and uh, you might notice no issues. But as you start to increase speed, this area will get significantly hotter. And if it's not cooled, you will break your engine. And this is also why it's important that you have a working thermostat. And in some videos, people say, in some places they say you can just remove the thermostat, which is technically true. However, this area does need to be a certain temperature and if you just constantly let it cool, the pistons will be too cold and it will shorten their light time. So uh, always make sure you have the working thermostat. It's critical to your operation and it keeps the motor at an optimal temperature. There is such a thing as an optimal temperature. Obviously, cooler is better, but after a certain point, the engine should be warm.